today our four popular smartphones on the market with arguably having the best cameras out there now. But before we start the comparisons, let's lay out the individual specs. What's up Manila? This is Rain of Manila Shaker for a four-way comparison. To start off, it's a daylight assisted shot with an XA1 Plus, Pixel 2, and V30 Plus having almost the same color output most noticeable with the red and greens in the picture. The iPhone 8 Plus, on the other hand, has brightest and vibrant color output out of all the four. The sharpness and details also are more apparent on the iPhone with the Sony at second. But what do you think? The second daylight assisted shot has a gloomier outcome on all but with the iPhone compensating for the photo. The Pixel 2 and V30 Plus, however, has the closest result to the original setting without ruining the overall quality, from compensating for the darker areas of the shot. Outdoor shots like the first two has the brightest quality on the iPhone, even revealing small details on slightly darker areas. Turning on the HDR mode has little to no difference on the building on all four but showing more details on the sky, revealing clouds that wasn't there on the first picture but with the LG with a bit overblown result. The next shot may not be available on the Sony and LG but it's still worth mentioning for the Pixel 2 and the iPhone 8 Plus, which is the depth effect mode. The iPhone may have a slight problem on identifying the subject and the background but it's not a problem on the Google phone. The next shot features some lighting sources which most cameras and smartphones have a difficulty identifying. The Google phone, iPhone, and LG can show small details of the small light bulbs inside the bottle, but the Sony shows a bit overblown result compared to the three mentioned. All phones also have good compensation when it comes to nighttime shots, although the Sony, like the previous photo, can take some lighting source as well. The Pixel 2, in our opinion, has the best adjustments in low lighting without sacrificing details compared to the iPhone, which has a slightly brighter result and the LG with a bit darker outcome. The next nighttime shot shows how the phones can adjust to lighting when it comes to strong on dim light source. The Pixel 2 shows some color lighting which is not apparent on the other phones, like reds on the building. The LG, however, still has the darkest result compared to the 3, with the Sony having some blurred out lighting sources and the iPhone with the brightest result but overall not losing detail on the building despite different aperture approach. Moving on to the front camera shots, results vastly differs in colors and details. The Sony reduces some facial features, having a bright skin tone, which is a good result if you want lighter selfies. The Pixel 2 has the most color accurate results without losing small details, like tiny hair strands and blemishes which is the result on the XA1 Plus. Like the Pixel 2, the iPhone has detailed results but has a yellowish skin tone result compared to the white yet dull output on the LG. Overall clarity and details lean more on the iPhone and the Google phone with colors solely basing on user preference. Low lit front camera shots on the Sony has the brightest overall quality, even making the shot, even making the shot look like it's not even taken with dim lighting. Once again, the Pixel 2 and iPhone 8 Plus are almost at par with detailed clarity with varying in color and lighting results. Lastly is the LG, which lost most details on the selfie compared to the first three shots. The last front camera shots taken place at night with the XA1 Plus resulting in a not so detailed photo from the low lighting source. The Pixel 2 surprisingly lost some facial details on the night shots but still has the closest skin tone approach on all four. The iPhone still compensates well even on nighttime shots, not sacrificing mini details with the Google phone sadly did. Lastly is the LG, which has the most distinct feature, losing some of the hair strands and small details present in the picture. Video recording is at the highest available output with Sony, the only phone which can shoot at 4K, while the other three capable of 4K, and the iPhone is the only phone which can shoot at 4K at 60 frames per second. With the iPhone and Google phone mostly competing on detail clarity and the Sony and LG not falling short, it's hard to identify which has the best camera out of all the four although the iPhone definitely is a pocket video cam on the go. How about you guys? Which do you prefer? Again, this has been Rain of Manila Shaker. Thank you for watching.